Hey Modern Band, I want to give just a couple of quick tips about how to practice on your own. As we start moving into more and more songs, you're going to have a lot of resources available to you. Uh, there's going to be YouTube videos, both you know, uh, videos from me and videos from other people, and a lot of places that you can find information. Uh, this is great. This is fantastic and it makes life way, way easier. But just a few things to keep in mind. One is that a lot of times things that you find on the internet will be different in one way or another from the original. Uh, part of it is because most of the music that we do are called covers, meaning we're doing a version of the song that may not be exactly the same as the original. So things like chords uh, might be a little bit different. Uh, things like uh, keys might be a little bit different. So just keep that in mind. The second is that a lot of times things that you find on the internet may have some small imperfections to them, especially if you're getting them from, you know, uh, Ultimate Tab or something that's free where people can upload their own stuff. So just keep that in mind. Um, when you're practicing, it's good to find a quiet place where you can work on your own, where you aren't going to be disturbed, uh, where you can, you can make some music without feeling like you're disturbing other people. This may be difficult for you to find, and a lot of my musicians will actually end up having to rehearse in a car sitting in the driveway because that's a place where they can guarantee a quiet environment where they're not disturbing other people and other people aren't disturbing them. You're going to have to get creative. You're going to have to look at ways that you can uh, develop a routine to practice, something where you can go on a regular basis and have a work through a normal practice routine. Look at our website, uh, townviewmusic.org, and under the tips and resources area, you can find some practice tips and ways to structure your own practice. It's really important for musicians, especially if you're new to an instrument, to have dedicated time on a regular basis where you can go through things. Now, as you're working specifically with guitar or bass guitar or piano or drums, think about your framework. Think about, is my posture good? Is my hand position good? Am I in the right place with the instrument? because that's going to make your practice more efficient, it's going to make your practice more effective, and it's going to reduce fatigue and strain afterwards. By following a few simple tips and a few simple strategies, you can end up making a lot more out of your time, so you won't have to devote quite so much time to see the same results. So use all the resources that are available here to you, and work regularly on your own. And of course, reach out to me if at any point in time you have any questions or I can help in any way.